The early 1800s were a time of great optimism and great passion, a time when many people believed in the potential of the human spirit and in the idea that life on Earth could be perfect if only people worked hard enough and were true to their convictions. It was also a time of great inequity and intolerance, one that was far from perfect and in dire need of reform. With the establishment of the new nation, many people felt that, in a sense, a new era had, be had begun in American history, that, that America as a political entity should also involve a new kind of social uh, reality. And yet, Americans by the 1830s and 40s were realizing that many of the problems the old problem still existed, and America was not quite the bold new world that they had hoped for. So after the political revolution, in a way, came a kind of ferment of social reform to try to correct what were seen as evils and, and flaws and failings of American society. One of the most visible failures of the American dream was the existence of the institution of slavery, a mockery of democracy. It took a war to prevent that failure from making the dream a nightmare of hypocrisy. The Civil War was a wrenching, sobering experience for Americans. The new generation of writers who came of age after the war rejected the glossy, romantic aspects of the American dream that many earlier writers had promoted. Mark Twain was one of these new realists who chose to write very specifically and honestly about the America he knew best the Mississippi River Valley. In his masterpiece, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Twain explores both the promising and the disillusioning aspects of the American dream. The Mississippi River, along which Huck and Jim the escaped slave travel, symbolizes America as the New Eden, a place of new beginnings. But the shores of the Mississippi represent the dangers, hypocrisies, and violence of a so-called civilized society. Huck faces a curious moral dilemma when he must decide whether to betray his friend Jim as his society's teachings tell him to do, or to follow the dictates of his own heart. Though he believes that it will damn him to eternal punishment in the hereafter, Huck sides with Jim. Innocence and integrity win out over the hypocritical dictates of society. Twain's characters experience both sides of the American dream. They are challenged by its failures, but in the end, retain their optimism and hope for a better future. In exploring the contradictions of the dream, Twain and other realist writers helped to set the stage for the 20th century, a time during which the American dream would be tested as never before. <laughs>